Alright, so welcome to part two. Um, and I think uh, let's start where we left off. Um, I think we left off uh, at the light texturing, the inside of the lights with the chrome material. So let me just start up Octane once again. Arr, I hate you, Windows. Um, Alright, okay. That should be fine. So let's see what we get I think this should look pretty okay yes and this looks already good I think now we already have texture at the inside okay um, what could we do next? Um, I think the next thing I want to do is I want to create a mirror material. So a 100% reflective material. So shader cinema for the octane. Let's rename this to mirror. Mirror. All right. Um, let's change this here to glossy. Index is 8. Oh, I'm not sure. Do I need a... I think I need a specular one for this. Let's change the index to eight and let's disable the transmission. And this should give us a 100% reflective material. Let's click on the mirror right here. And let's drop this on there. Let's reload our scene. Let me check the settings first of all. Uh, <laughs> Post preview. Let's set this here to medium. Okay, and let's render again. And I will definitely check out now the mirror. And let's see if this is 100% reflective. Could also go inside the car and see, like a normal driver. If we, if we could see what's going on there. And we definitely can see what's going on there. Okay. I think it will just simply move out of the car. Which isn't really easy right now. Now it works. Okay. And here we have our, our mirror which doesn't really reflect much right at the moment, but this doesn't really matter. As you can see, if you change the angle, now it reflects uh, the back. And if we change this a little bit more, it probably reflects the sky. Okay, so perfect. Here we go. Okay, the next material that is also really important, well, I think almost every material is really important, um, but anyway, uh, this will be the uh, tire material. So let me create a tire material quickly. All right, so let's create a new material. Shader Cinema for the, for the Octane Octane material. Let's call this tires. And let's go to glossy. Let's go to um, index. Let's set the index to something like 3. Uh, let's set the roughness to something like 0 0.3. And let's set the specular to some grayish, something like... Um, maybe something like this, 65, 65, 65. And in the diffuse, we will just simply change this to some kind of black color. Okay, so let's drop this on our tires. Um, we have four tires, so we need to do this for all the tires. Um, let me jump out of the camera and let me select the other tires right here. Uh, okay. But this tire, okay, we also need to give this tire material. All right. 
Okay, uh, let's fire up the life runner once again. And let's see what we get. Here we go. And I think this looks pretty good already. It has some reflection. A uh, robot definitely has some reflection, not too much, uh, but there is definitely s this material definitely picks up some light. Um, so there's definitely some reflection going on, and I think this looks pretty good. Maybe let's change the. Hello. Okay, here we go. Let me pause this. Um, let me change the roughness to something like 0.29, maybe. 0. something like that. And specular, maybe a little bit less. 64, 60, no. 64. Ah, Jesus. And 64. Okay. Here we go. And I think I also want to add some dirt. So we definitely want to add some dirt right here um, on, the, on the wheels because this will give us a more realistic look, uh, look for sure. So let's add in the diffuse layer. And um, there are two ways how you can load images. Um, the normal way, if you just click on load image, also works with Octane. Um, but I think we will load it over the image texture right here, Cinema for the Octane image texture. And let me just load the right texture in. I have a dirt map for that. Just simply uh, um, look for dirt shader or dirt map on, on, on Google and you will find a lot of stuff. I will use this one and let's see what we get. I can't see much here in the preview right now. Uh, but let's turn down the mix a little bit to something like 0 0.3. So we don't have so much dirt on the on the on the, on the car. Uh, we should have a little bit um, on the tires, but not too much. This shouldn't look too bad at all. And then we also need to uh, add a bump map uh, that comes with it with the Evermotion car. And I think all this stuff is already UV unwrapped. So all we need to do is just simply drop it into the bump slot, and it will appear uh, at the right direction. And as you can see, the dirt already looks good enough I think. This looks pretty good. Um, maybe we can even add a little bit more. Let me pause this maybe to something like 0.33 something like that. And um, let me also add the bump map quickly. Load image. No, let's make this via Octane image texture. And we will load this in desktop. I have so much stuff going on here. Uh, Ferrari Italia textures and this is the sidewall for the tires. I will just load this in in the bump and let's click on play. Uh, maybe we need to reload quickly. This gives me time to smoke another cigarette. Um, let's see what we get right here. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And does it appear? Can't really see it right now. Yes, I think it's there. Yeah, there we have our bump map compared with some compared with some dirt. So now we have this Ultra Grip logo. You can't really see it too good right now because of the lightning uh, I have going on here in the scene, but it looks already good. Okay, so the next thing I want to texture is uh, definitely... Um, uh, what is it called? Jesus Christ. I really should know what this is called. Um, I think it's the rims. Yeah, it's the rims. Let's, let's um, texture the rims. Octane material. 
and we will make this glossy. We will make this for really, really high, something like chrome. But I really want to have a dark color. Um, the problem is with metal shaders, if you go for a really, really high index, so something like 8, um, which is the highest in Octane, uh, the problem is if you try to add color in the diffuse channel, you probably won't gain any color because the metal, uh, the IOR is so high uh, that the diffuse channel simply gets overwritten and this is uh, always the same no matter what render engine you are using. Um, so the only, the only workaround about this is to simply uh, change the specular color to a color that you, that you like. So um, I will demonstrate you this quickly if, if I change this here to red or something like that. Um, it might appear here as red, but if I um, put this on the rims, it's, probably, it's pl probably not really red. Um, let me just reload this. Okay, it's a little bit red, so it picks a little bit uh, up from the color uh, for the metal, as, as you can see. But it's not really the, this red that we, um, that we use, because it picks up so much uh, specularity um, that you don't really get the color that you want. So um, the best thing is to do that really change down the diffuse channel to, some, the diffuse channel to something like black something like 15% black and then change the specular layer to something to a color that you that you would like to uh, on the on the car so if i change this here to red as you can see this already starts to look like a really really nice red metal metal shader right here so this is definitely uh, the better way to go as you can see mm. since i don't want red rims i mean if you want you can you can you can take red rims but i want something like uh, black i think i want i want black rims let me change this here oh not completely black dominic because this is not good okay so here we go here we go here we go Oh, maybe this is also for black. It's maybe a bad idea. Hmm, good question. Good question, good question. What can I do about this? I think I could... Let me pause this. I think I will try to overcome this as I add a little bit more black in the diffuse and change this here to a little bit more grayish color in the specular so it picks up more light and the roughness to absolutely zero. And let's restart this. I should have just clicked on play right now. Now I've re reloaded the complete scene. That was not so good, but anyway. Let's see what we get. Um, yes, this looks way better, as you can see. This looks no way better. This is the look I was aiming for. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Mm. So the next thing I wanna uh, texture is are definitely the, the brakes right here. Um, so let me change this quickly to uh, something like, can we really call this black chrome? I think this is impossible, but I will just simply call it black chrome. Doesn't really matter. Um, so what I will do, I will copy this chrome material by holding down control and left mouse click, uh, simply drag and drop. Um, I will call this, um, I will call this something like silver, also it will not be really silver, um, but it will be something like chrome, but with a little bit more roughness, so something like 0.1, maybe 0.2, 0.2 is probably too much, 0.15, something like that. And let's just simply click in object mode on our break disk. And I think we also need to add this break disk right here. Uh, where is it? Break disk and also on the other sides. Break disk. 
this one. Ah, okay. Seems to be uh, connected with the other brick disk. Okay. But this one is not. Okay, so let's also texture this one. Okay. Um, let's reload the scene quickly. And let's see what we get right here. If this really looks good enough. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, now I think I clicked on update once again. Hmm, this might be the beer from yesterday. Might be. I'm not 100% sure, but it might be um, because of the beer yesterday. Um, let's check the break disk. And maybe we could also search for a reference image for break disks to get the shader a little bit better. Um, let me click here on pause. Also, this looks, I think, okay, maybe it has a little bit too much roughness. I'm not 100% sure. Let me search for break this quickly. Uh, bu -bu -bu, this really depends on the lightning again. But this one looks pretty good. <laughs> it probably also depends on the brake disc. Uh, so let's look for Ferrari Italia brake disc. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Interesting. Okay, this also looks a little bit darker right here. Um, and also has some dirt on it, already some scratches. Um, hmm. Hard to tell with metal, always hard to tell, because metal really depends a lot on the lightning. Um, where you have almost no lightning, metal gets really, really black, and where you have a lot of lightning, it gets really, really uh, bright. Uh, so it's kind of hard to tell for what color we should go for. I think I will just simply um, uh, lower the, the roughness here a little bit to 0.1, and I think we should be fine. Yeah, something like that, so it definitely reflect something not too strong but it definitely reflects something so this looks pretty pretty good i think 0 0.9 0 0.8 maybe 0 0.08 might look okay for our break disc okay mm. okay now this is definitely too much sorry for that oh po oh oh 0.08 i said yes thanks Okay, nice. Um, the next thing I want to texture is um, here this little, um, what is that called? I'm not sure. Um, I think it also, um, uh, it also has something to do with the break uh, for 100%, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. But um, we also need to, need to texture this one. So let's click on pause here. So we have more performance in the viewport. By the way, if you have an old graphic card, um, you can just simply um, select one graphic card for, for, for rendering, for, um, for Octane only. So you just simply tell Octane, okay, just use my 780 GTX for rendering and then use the other graphic cards simply for the viewport so you don't have to pause or anything. Uh, so you always have almost full performance. Um, I have a second graphic card that is working right now. I really should build this in so I have more performance um, in the viewport and also could uh, can can let run um, Octane uh, when I'm in pass tracing or maybe um, uh, PMC mode. But anyway, um, let's create a new material and I want to make this here yellow. Let's change this to glossy. Uh, I think the index will be a little bit higher. Uh, let's check this right here. This definitely looks something like metal, but uh, uh, also has definitely some glossiness, as you can see here, the lighting that gets reflected, some... Yeah, so I think it's maybe something like 4. Let's try it with 4. Uh, let's give 
at four it's a little bit tricky let's try to give it the color with the specular and let me also take the color from this one uh choose green color and uh, whoops i think i need to pull this over here so i can select this choose green color uh okay this yellow yes okay that's not good uh, also change this in a diffuse let me save this color quickly uh yes thanks diffuse and let me select this one all right okay okay this looks pretty good um the roughness is definitely too too low so we need to get a higher roughness something like that maybe maybe something like 0 0.2 to 0.3 let's try it with 0.3 and with the specular we probably need to play around and it also really doesn't need to be yellow i think uh, maybe something like that well let's just simply apply the material and let's see what we get this is probably the best way this is why we have the live viewer so we can instantly check if we're going in the right direction or not and yeah this is really essentially let's see what we have here okay first of all i don't really like the yellow yet and i can't really tell if this picks up enough light mm. let's change the mode for now uh, for this material to direct lightning so we are a little bit faster and let's make this a little bit smaller right here yeah okay nope nope we definitely need less less roughness that's for sure so something like 0.15 maybe okay maybe even a little bit less let's try this 0.1 Now it starts to gain here on the edges a little bit of a little bit of something maybe let's also turn off smooth let's see if that really makes a difference no it doesn't really make much of a difference and let's change the specular a little bit more but this will also get rid of our yellow color so let me pick the yellow color here again and let me just simply play around with the roughness i think this will help more I think we need to change the color here a little bit to something else till it really fits and I think I need to set the index a little bit higher maybe to something like 6 mm. I think this comes a little bit closer here okay that's not good Okay, this is just simply really playing around now to, to, to get the right color and then I can start playing around with the roughness again. I don't really like the color yet a lot and also we don't get really m much lightning here right now. Let me change the HGRI maybe a little bit so this picks up more lightning. Oh, rotation, where do I get more light? more light is what i need maybe here at this spot yes perfect okay and as we can see this looks really really bad this is definitely not what we're aiming for this looks really too too much like like some other kind of metal let's change this back to four maybe maybe this is something like three and let's also change the roughness to something like 0 0.2 0 point maybe 0 0.3 wasn't that bad now i also need to change the specular okay let me jump back um let's maybe set the specular really to gray something like that 
And let's try to adjust the diffuse a little bit more. Maybe let's change this to more like an orange color. And let's set the index to something like five. And I think I have to reload here. Mm. Sometimes it it just takes a little bit long until you until you get the the the, the, the right material. It doesn't always work uh, with with um, in the first take. Sometimes you really need to be a little bit patient, play around with the settings, play around with the roughness, and and so on. This looks now really really good. I think this looks pretty good. Also, I think the specular is a little bit too high. Let's set this a little bit lower, so it also picks up more color. And I think the roughness is a little bit too high. Uh, let's set this down and set this down and set this. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. 0.17 might work pretty good, maybe 0.16. And let's change the specular color a little bit down again. And let's change the diffuse color to more of a yellowish color. Something like that. That still looks too... No, I think we, we really need a darker specular. Because it picks up too much light and we need to change the diffuse here. This is too much. Mm, still too much. <laughs> hmm. Mm hmm. I think this comes a little bit closer to where I wanna go. Okay, I, I made a little pause here and tried to to figure out the material. So. The tutorial isn't isn't that long and also not so. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't want want you to 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 uh, maybe go to sleep because my tutorial is is a little bit boring. So I just made a little stop here and as you can see, I think now I'm really there where where I wanna be. So what I did is I changed the index to four. Um, the specular to a grayish color of 106, 106, and 106 in the RGB. And in the diffuse, I just simply took the yellow color in the R223, in G178, in the B31. And also turned on smooth again. And yeah, I think that's it. That's it. And it looks pretty good now. So uh, I, I, really, I really, really like the reflection now a lot. Uh, we could still play a little bit around with the color, but I think uh, we are absolutely fine. Okay, so... The next thing I want to uh, adjust is um, the screws right here. Uh, let's see where we have the screws. Um, what is it? Brake chrome. I'm not sure if this is really chrome. Well, let's maybe let's drop a chrome material on there and let's check how this will look. Um, I'm not 100% sure if chrome is really the right material right there for the screws, but we will see. Well, maybe. Maybe it is. It doesn't really look too bad. Yes, I think we could. Maybe we could change the roughness a little bit, but then we need to make a new chrome material because otherwise all our other chrome parts that are really chrome uh, would also look a little bit different then, so we need to copy this material. But I think it's okay. I think I think I think it looks okay. Might look okay. So let's also check this here on the brake. I think this is on a different Okay, brake black. So the screws are here black. I don't really care to be honest. Let's also drop a chrome material right there. Let's check this. And let's see what we get. 
Yes. Okay, and also this screw doesn't seem to have any material. Or maybe I'm wrong. Okay, it should have a material. Can't really select it. It seems to be this brake chrome. Okay. And I also want to change the color. I don't know. I don't know why, but I want to change the color a little bit at this brake thingy here. If I'm not 100% satisfied, I always have to change something. I don't know. Till I really like it. I can't go on otherwise. Yes, I think now I like it a little more. I don't really know what's, what is it, what is it with me um, to make those little changes till I'm satisfied, but yeah. I've, now it looks okay for me. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, yeah. And I think we also, um, by the brake disc here, uh, we should uh, change the silver, we call this silver, we should go down with the roughness maybe to something like 0.05. Uh, I think this will also look a little bit better. Maybe even a little bit more. Maybe to something like 0.03. And let's change the specular a little bit. Something like that, so it picks up more. Okay, this was bad. This was really, really bad. Now let's change this back to black. Just simply to turn it. And maybe here in the diffuse we can manage to get this a little bit darker. This might look also okay. Maybe a little bit brighter. Something like that. Maybe even a little bit more brighter. Yes, something like that. I think I like that. I think I like that. Okay, perfect. Um, what else do we have to to um, uh, to to texture? What else do we have? Um, the light doesn't really look too good right now because I'm into direct direct lighting mode and not past past tracing. Oh, we also need to put all our materials also here. Uh, on the rims, I think we only need to texture the rims. Uh, we don't need to texture the rest, I think. At least I hope so. Uh, black, what is this? Black chrome, okay. Call this black chrome. So, let's drop this on here. And I think we also need to... Do we need to change? Okay, the brake disc is already textured. But we definitely need to texture this one right here. Break Calipper. Okay, now we now already now I also know the name, and let's check the other side. Let's check the other side of the car. Okay, this is already textured. This should, this is also textured perfect, but here we still have the Break Calipper to texture. Okay, and do we also have to texture the inside here? No, but we probably have to texture the rim. Yes. And do we also have the texture rim right here? Nope. Okay, perfect. Okay, so everything should be textured right now. Uh, also, the logo should be probably chrome. Okay, this is has already a chrome material. This is good. Um, anything else we want to change? Yes, okay, here we need an orange glass material probably for the blinkers. Uh, create shader cinema for the octane material. And let's change this to specular, um, index 1.6, maybe something less, maybe something like 1.54, since this is probably plastic um, and not really, not really pure glass. I think something like 1.54 might work a little bit better. Let's change the transmission to something like orange, uh, maybe something like that. Okay. And let's drop this on the blinkers and also change the uh, here the index to something like 0.54 in the red glass and also in the normal glass we created. Uh, I think this is more like a, a plastic glass than really uh, a, a normal glass. Okay, so what else can we texture? We could texture the complete inside of the car. To be honest, I don't want to go through this. Uh, at all. I don't want to texture all the leather parts and, and, and uh, I mean it probably wouldn't be 
so time consuming, but I think I uh, will go for an uh, outside shot of the of the car anyway, and won't really zoom in into the car. So I think we will be absolutely fine if we just texture the outside. The only thing I might want to texture is let me go to windows. Where are the windows? Let me disable those. Is here the back maybe? Um, this little thing inside here, the engine, is red. Let's search for Ferrari Italia engine on Google and let's see what kind of material this might be. Um, uh, okay. This doesn't really look... What is this? What kind of material is this? seems to be really really okay I can't open up this picture why 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 okay this doesn't work so here we go as you can see this is really has a little bit it's hard to tell in this shot I think really hard to tell what kind of material this is maybe it is something like metal with almost almost no glossiness. Uh, looks almost a little bit like plastic, but I don't know. okay, here we have a burning Ferrari. Okay. Um, Okay, let's look at this one. Is this the same shot? Hmm, good question. And it doesn't open up anyway. Perfect. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. Hmm, I think I should have researched this before. I think I will make a little pause till I find the right picture. Okay, here we can see the material a little bit better also this looks almost diffuse to me it's just really weird material absolutely no clue what that should be um, but let's try to recreate it octane material I will try I think I will try this with an index of 3 just because I think this might be the right way to go a roughness really really high something like pff, I don't know 0.5, let's try this 0.5 and uh, the diffuse color to red, let's try to pick up this reddish color right here and the specula, we really need to lower the specular a lot almost has no specularity anyway just a little bit maybe and let's drop this on there, let's restart our octave life fuel and let's see what we get oh I need to disable the windows completely I just disabled them in the in the render view and that over and not overall this is a little bit bad um Okay. Yeah, this might be okay. I think this looks almost like this material right there. I think the Ferrari logo is probably, probably chromish. Where is it? Here, silver, no MS. This is really silver. Okay, then let's drop us. Let's create a silver material. Let's call this real silver. Something like that. Glossy index 8, specular 15%, black specular, something like silver. Yes, and roughness, maybe something like 0.01. And let's drop this on there. Okay, and then also let's texture this here. What, what is it? 
black plastic okay this is already textured what is with this here interior silver okay let's also but the silver really when you look at this this isn't really uh like a normal silver material i mean the, there's there's not really much glossiness going on this looks more like a brushed metal something like that so i would really definitely change the silver shader here to something like let's maybe change this here to 0 0.2 uh, maybe even a little bit more 0 0.25 maybe something like that and let's drop this in on the interior silver and let's render it again and also this plastic isn't really so black we could change this a little bit more to to a grayish color um, well maybe the plastic looks okay I'm not 100% sure about that if you look at the picture this is really much brighter I mean this also is, is shot by a really good daylight and uh, picks up a lot of light but uh, I think the color is still uh, uh, a lot brighter then, then also here when you have the shadows it really depends 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 okay this looks almost good but it should be a little bit brighter I think and also a little bit I think we can still pull up the roughness maybe to 0 0.3 and make this a little bit brighter and the specular still a little bit brighter or something like that okay Mm -hmm. mm, looks a bit better but since we won't see this really anyway when we make our shot it doesn't really matter if this if this inside looks so realistic I think I would also pull in a noise probably in the bump channel and try to make it a little bit better but I think I will just let it be also on the as you can maybe you can see it I'm not sure about uh, when this video gets converted on, on VMO how good you can see it but also here there is definitely some um, uh, some fuzzy stuff going on here on this on this engine so we definitely would also put in a, a noise map in the bump and try to to uh, make it look a little bit more similar but anyway, I will just simply change the plastic right here, I think. This is the only thing I will do. Um, black plastic, which material is this? Okay, then let's copy this material, call this grey plastic. Make it a little bit brighter. In the diffuse, change it to something like... I don't know, maybe something like this. Okay. And let's pull it on there. Let's reload it and let's see what we get. Might look a little bit better. Not so I think I need to give this a little bit more reddish right here. Okay, okay, here we go. Yeah, okay, this might look a little bit better, but I still want it a little bit darker. Something like that. Okay. And I think we could add, uh, we could turn down the roughness a little bit more, maybe something like 0.12. This might also look a little bit better here. Um, Alright, okay, let's change this here. Let's add a little bit more red. Um, something like that. Yes, I think this looks also better. I don't really like the metal shader yet, but like I said, I think we don't really look in there anyway. I don't know why I textured this, but yeah, I think I would uh, I would need to, to play around a little bit more here. But I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good so far. Okay, um, another thing we want to add is definitely, um, what is it called in German? It's called Nummernschild. What is it called in English? Um, something like plate maybe back plate register plate okay we want to add a register plate i think i downloaded somewhere a register plate let's create a new shader 
Okay, couldn't really find it, so I made a little stop, but I have it now. Here we go. I will also use a glossy material because this will definitely have some glossiness. Let's change the index maybe to something like, hard to tell, something like 4 maybe. And let's change the specular a little bit. Something like that, maybe a little bit more. And let's change the roughness to maybe something like 0.1. And let's add this register plates since this is all UV unwrapped. Uh, now we could also add a bump map um, because the numbers definitely have some kind of bump. Um, but to be honest, I'm really, I will be a little bit lazy now and will not create a, a bump map. Also, it would be really easy in Photoshop just change the, 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 the yellow color to a white one and we will have a bump map already. Um, but I think I will be a little bit lazy right now and just simply. Um, we'll go without a bump map. So let's reload this and I think we are almost finished then. I think we are almost finished then. Yes, um, I'm not sure how good this looks. I think this picks up too much light. To be honest, let's change the specular. Something like that, maybe. Okay. Okay, but it really should pick up some light. Okay. Since there isn't really a bump map um, or anything or a displacement going on on this, we don't really get any um, any good reflections here on the on the numbers because if those numbers would go outside, they also would have some kind of edges where you would have some nice reflections since we don't use any map right now. Um, we will lose the reflection right here, so this might look a little bit unrealistic right there. But like I said, you can do that if you want to. It's really easy in Photoshop to, to do. Uh, probably takes just one or two minutes to make this, but uh, yeah. Like I said, I'm really a little bit lazy now. Okay. Um, I think we textured everything that is uh, essential for us. So the next thing I want to do is I definitely want to add a uh, Cinema 4D Octane uh, camera tag. And then I will search for a nice curve. I think I also want to have a little bit more light in the scene. This looks a little bit, a little bit too dark. So I will use the camera imager, enable camera imager. And let me change the ISO to something like 200 maybe. Oh, and I also should click on play here. Let me reload the scene. And I think I will also do a little bit, I will also activate the post effects, post processing. Also, we could also do this in After Effects or Nuke or whatever. But I will use the build some, some things of the built in Octane things. Okay, 200 looks a little bit better. Let's maybe go for something like 250 ESO. Yes, this might look also okay. Um, do we want an aperture? I'm not 100% sure about that. If we want, if we want this, uh, first of oh, I didn't jump into the camera. Okay, this is also a big mistake. And so the light didn't really change. Okay, now 200, not really changes. And I thought it was changing. It wasn't changing. Nice. Okay, 200 looks. I think pretty good. I think we shouldn't go higher than 200. Um, vignetting, we could add a vignetting in post work anyway, but I think I will let the vignetting do for now. Um, okay, and like I said, I want to change the environment map also a little bit. I want to change the car here in the right direction. Uh, we could let it park here or here. Okay, here. Here the back window definitely picks up way too much light. I don't really like that, to be honest. Because the sky is blue only and this will not really look so good if you get this kind of reflection. Mm. Okay, I think this is probably hard with this HDRI to get something else. Uh, we'll just simply go for SMC Industrial 3 and let's try this one out. And also make sure that imported sampling is still turned on. Yes, it is. All right, and let's 
rotate here a little bit around and let's search for a good spot for our car. Maybe here. Maybe here. Mm. Okay, no, no, no. Mm. Can't really tell if I like that. Yeah, maybe here. Maybe here. This doesn't look too bad. Yes. But it looks a little bit like this, like our car is a little bit... I will just simply rotate, I will add the floor to the null object and then just simply take the null object and will rotate rotate our car maybe for one degree or something like that. Uh, let me do this quickly here, coordinates. Um, oh, sorry about that. Yes, minus one. Let's maybe change this to minus three. Let's reload this. This might look a little bit better. Okay. Okay, this was maybe one degree too much, I think. Let's change this to minus two. And let's reload this. Mm. Anything else I want to change? I think we didn't texture this here. I'm not 100% sure if we did texture this right there. Okay, so now it looks okay, I think. Maybe not. Let's change this to minus one. Minus one might be the perfect, the perfect way. Let's see if we textured this one. Uh, right here on the back, because this isn't all uh, pure glass, there's also some plastic going on, and yes, we did texture this. And this is the same material as down here. Okay. Um, let's also change maybe the material on our plane to the color that it picks up here from the floor. Um, uh, 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 diffuse color, choose green color, something like that. A little bit more neutral. Yes, this looks pretty good. Okay, and this also, I don't know why this, why this picks up so weird lightning, because this is also, this should also be the same plastic material. Uh, but here it looks really grayish. This has nothing to do with octane or anything else. This is just really, really weird. If I select this let me go to object mode and let me select this down here. You can see this is all the same uh, the same thing. Let me jump out of the camera. It has the same material as this back here. If I change the camera angle, this probably changes. It just really picks up a lot of light, I think, right there. This is why it looks so grayish. Uh, yeah. It really picks up a lot. We might want to change this material, maybe Maybe we can change this. Car paint dark is this. Okay, this gray plastic. Maybe we should change down the specular a little bit. Mm. This helps a little bit, but not really. I think we have just to live with it. Otherwise, I would just simply... Oh, let me select this quickly. Let me let me make a selection tag quickly here. Mm. Let me pause this and let me select this so I can give this a different color so it looks a little bit more like like the rest of the of the car color. Um, select set selection, deselect this, select invert, select set selection. Okay, I will just simply call this here car car paint. And I think I also will dr drop on this a uh, car paint, even though so a real Ferrari doesn't really have a car paint right here. But anyway, I think I will just drop a car paint. I think this will look much better. Um, so let's drop a car paint on this and let's add the selection tag to it. And Sphurica, let's change this to Cubic. I don't really, UV mapping maybe. I'm not sure why this is set to spherical, but anyway. And this one, we will give the second selection tag and also change this to UV mapping. And let's reload the scene and let's see what we get.
Let's see what we get. It just really picks up a lot of light here in the spot. It just really picks up a lot of light and this might also be because of our multi plane. This might be because of our plane. Let me just simply uh, turn the opacity to zero and let's see if anything changes. If this really depends on the plane right here. No, not really. It just really picks up much light. Okay, so this is realistic also i don't really like that this picks up so much light here but it is realistic so there's nothing we can really do about it um it's just the way that it is so yeah mm. okay i also think i want to go a little bit closer so i need to delete my protection tag in this case i think i want to zoom in a little bit on my ferrari also go a little bit down and uh, yeah maybe something like that maybe here and I think I also want to change, um, I want to give it a little bit more of an interesting look. This is why I will um, select the tire. Uh, let me pull this over here, tire. Then also the rim. Then we need the brake, the caliper, the screws, the other screws and the logo. Yes, and we still need to add the logos as well. I totally forgot that. And I hope I didn't forget anything here. And if I now click on rotate, uh, let me change this here a little bit to over here. I need to really adjust it in the right direction. Otherwise, the rotation will look a little bit weird. Okay. Uh, what's the front? What's the back? Okay. I think that's the front wheel. I hope so. Is are you the front wheel? Can't really tell. Yes, I think. Okay, and now let's click on rotate, and let's rotate this. Oh wow! Nice rotating the car. And not my wheel. This is pre. Why? 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 Why would you do that? Oh, the camera was selected, okay. Oh, okay, and this is why I also messed up. This right here, this isn't too good. Let's change this here. Uh, whoops. And also change this here. Yes, okay. And let me adjust this once again. So we can really move the whoops, so we can really move this here into the middle because otherwise the like I said the rotation will be weird from the wheel. So we really need to adjust this as good as we can. Somewhere around here. Yes. Okay. And we also need to adjust this here in the top view. Uh, change this here somewhere into the middle. Okay. Now it should work out pretty well when we rotate this. Yes. And Maybe a little bit more. Okay, and now I did move with the camera because I did not use the, because I did delete the protection tag. And the first thing I do is I move with the camera. And this is why I always use a protection tag to save my camera angle I had before. But anyway, um, this happens to me uh, quite often. But I think we will get the, the right angle again. So no problem there. Okay, so this looks a little bit better. Did we lose a part maybe? 
while we were rotating nope we didn't lose any parts i think all parts are still there all the screws the brake disc and so on and yeah we could make this blink a little bit brighter i think um, mm, uh, transmission make this something like that maybe yes okay and let's change back into the camera all right and i think i want to move a little bit closer and move to something like this maybe even a little bit closer yes okay 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 this looks pretty good um now we can also choose a different curve in in the camera so we can use one of the built-in curves inside of octane so let me just start with the first one and then i just will use my keyboard to go through this different curves as you can see and let's see if there is a curve that we want to use uh this looks pretty good i think but i think it's a little bit dark here maybe let's adjust the ESA to 250 okay it gets a little bit brighter let's try it with 300 mm. doesn't look too shabby to be honest okay and mm. Okay, let's. What was this? Aqua Color Vista 200 CD. Okay, let's maybe search for another one that we might like. This also doesn't look too bad. We can still work a little bit in After Effects later on, anyway. Um, but yeah, I wanna search for a look that I this is really dark. Really, really dark. Okay, this also looks nice, but this is really dark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I think I really like the Aqua Color Vista. What was it, 100 or 200? I think the 200. 200 looks pretty good, I think. Okay, anything else we want to adjust? Anything else we have to do? Yeah, I also want to use some post-processing, like I said. I, we could also use this in, in After Effects and Nuke. I said that as well, but still. Uh, let's give it a little bit of bloom. A little bit of bloom, something. No, maybe not too much. And let's also give it some glare. Oh, this makes it maybe too bright. I don't know if I like that. Mm. Well, maybe. Okay, this is way too much. I need something like that. This looks pretty good. I think. Yes. Okay. Um. Okay, let's double check everything. Um, if you don't click on override kernel settings enabled, it will take all the settings that we that we choose here. So it will also check, uh, check uh, I think it also takes the uh, all the camera settings and so on. And uh, it also will take our uh, kernels. So in this case it will be direct lighting, uh, but we, because of our headlights and so on. And I didn't, I didn't really... Um, texture the front right now because I will just simply make a back shot now of the car and uh, you know now how to texture the rest of the car because uh, the, the, the front light is just simply um, another uh, another glass material that we already have and it's also another uh, chrome material inside of the lights 
uh, so they wouldn't really uh, change change a lot. And since and we can't really make a good close up uh, or, or a good shot from the front because we would see inside the car through through the window and we would see that the interior is probably not textured. So this is why I will go for for a back shot here for the car because otherwise this tutorial would be just too long. And I also forgot something. I need to create the logos quickly. I totally forgot the logos octane material. Uh, I think I have to search for them. Let me make a quick pause. All right, here we go. So let's take let's take this one. I think no, this one for the rim. And I also choose a glossy material. Let's maybe change the index to two. Uh, change the roughness to something like O point. O point. No, O point five maybe. And let's change the specular to something like this. And oh, 0.5 was too much. 0.05, I meant. Yes, I think this looks pretty good. And let's drop this onto our. Let me let me set here a protection tag again, since we found our final shot position. And okay, let me zoom out, 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 and let me click on pause here. Okay, and let me select the logo right there and here we drop this onto the rim logo since this is uv unwrapped as i said it's in the perfect place uh, instantly and also here rim logo bam okay i will texture this quickly here as well while i'm on it yes and now we just need the last one because here on the side we have also a logo that we will see in our shot right here. So we'll just simply duplicate this material, load a new image in a diffuse channel and this will be a logo hood, this one. Okay, and let me drop this on there. Emblem side, okay. And bada boom bada bam, it's there, perfect. Okay, let's switch into our camera. Let's change. I think we don't need the live viewer anymore since we have our camera angle and so on. Um, let's change our settings uh, to pass tracing. Um, anything else we need? I don't think so. I will go for max sample 16,000. We probably don't don't need 16,000. We probably need something like 2,000, 3,000 uh, for the shot. But uh, I will just simply uh, let here uh, 16,000 max samples. Uh, I think this is uh, absolutely okay because this is a still shot and we we can stop the still shot whenever we want. So yeah. Okay. Um, I would just say Octane Render is selected right here, okay. Um, flow Tone Map is okay, I don't really need something above one in this shot, I think. And uh, yeah, let's click on Render to Picture Viewer. We already typed in our resolution, 1280 by 720 And let's see what we get. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Maybe the glare is a little bit too much, but I think I can take the glare out a little bit more in After, in after Effects anyway. So we'll just let this render here. The wheel texture is absolutely perfect, I think. The wheel looks really, really good. Car paint material, we could maybe adjust a little bit. But yeah. Also here, I think this isn't, this isn't really textured here, I think. But I did texture it, why, why, why? Black plastic, yeah. Hmm, this is really weird. Also gets really bright. Well, anyway. 
I think this is done correctly. Okay, I think I will make a little stop here. Uh, I will let it render a little bit so you can see the render time I finally had for this car. Uh, it will not be really long, I think. So I will just click on pause and, and uh, see you when it's finished. Alright, so after 10 minutes the result is pretty good. All the noise is almost gone. We still have a little bit of noise here in the window and we still have some noise here in the mirror. Uh, this might be because the, the interior of the car isn't really textured and uh, uh, this might clear up a little bit faster. Maybe also if I make it a little bit glossy, the mirror material. Um, and this would probably also help if I would texture the inside. Um, mirror probably always takes a little bit longer to clear up. Um, but for me, it's, I mean, since it's a tutorial, I don't need to... Uh, to let this render now for, age, uh, for ages or something like that. So 10 minutes is pretty good and I think all the all the bad noise is really gone. Um, probably another 5 minutes or something like that and all the noise in the window would be gone. And uh, maybe another 10 minutes or something like that and also the noise in the mirror would be gone. But like I said, uh, probably all the noise would have been gone if I would uh, have textured the interior and uh, maybe would have changed uh, a little bit on the, on, on the mirror material then probably it would be already finished but uh, yeah this is still a uh, uh, little mistakes I make with with Octane um, but yeah I also learn every day uh, something new so uh, uh, as, as you guys so yeah this isn't really much of a problem so um, I will just stop this here um, stop rendering yes I want to stop and I want to save this out as an open XR 32 bit yes sir and I will just simply drop this in here, Ferrari Italia EXR. Let me save the file. And let's start up After Effects. And let's see what we can do in After Effects. Um, Okay. Okay, so here we go. Let's change this here to 32 bit. Uh, yes. Um, here we go. And let's drop this in here. Okay, first of all, I want to start out as user as usual with some curves. And I will adjust this here a little bit, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. And maybe let me try some glint. Whoa, okay. We might should have used uh, a real 32 bit. So I could adjust this a little bit more. Let me change the brightness here. Mm, this helps maybe a little bit, I'm not sure. No, let's just leave this. Um, a new composition. Let's move this all to a new composition, new effect, looks, and we will definitely add some chromatic aberration to add a little bit more of realism. Let's change this to something like this. Two points. Uh, this might be too much. Two point four. Two point six maybe. In the red sign, this might look okay. And, well, maybe let me search for some filters here. Maybe we could also use another filter on this. Maybe this one. I think we'll just use... Uh, this one looks pretty nice, I think. 
also this really um, does a lot to the picture, but it's still a really nice color grading, I think. Uh, we could also make our own color grading right there, but I will try it with one of the pre-made ones. Also black and white probably look would look okay, but yeah. I want to have a colored picture. Okay, how much chromatic aberrations? Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Well, let's maybe go for this zombie look or whatever it's called and let's try to make it a little bit less or something like that maybe. And maybe something like that. And also add a chromatic aberration right here. Uh, let's make this really a little bit more, something like that. And let's click on finished. Uh, vignette is already on there, right? Yes. This is a little bit much for vignette, but I think it looks pretty good. Okay. And... I mean, you can also use a, a different color grading if you want to. But uh, yeah, I think this looks... Uh, pretty good. Like I said, here is the noise. We should also have textured the interior maybe a little bit and uh, or maybe change the material a little bit to, to a little bit glossy. Uh, this would have also helped, um, but now we have a little bit of, of noise left, but this shouldn't be really uh, too bad for us uh, as we know how, how, we can, how we can change that. Um, we could also add just for an artistic look um, uh, a letterboxer, something like anamorphic this might also look uh, good, but this cuts off the car, so we probably don't need a letterbox, so we can just give it away. And uh, let me make a new composition once again. And what else could I add? What else would be nice? Uh, we could have also added a little bit of, um, of, an, of an depth of field. Uh, to make this here a little bit more um, uh, uh, out of focus, but anyway, um, doesn't really matter. Would uh, wouldn't have also have a really an impact. I mean, you can add an an, an aperture if if you want to um, when you're rendering this out. I probably will not render this again right now, um, but yeah, this is not really terrible. Um, maybe another curves, um, and maybe I change this here a little bit. Let's make this a little bit brighter, maybe, so we can see a little bit more of the car. I think this looks a little bit better if this is brighter. Uh, something like that, okay. Let's jump into the blue channel so we could adjust this here a little bit. But I think I like it that way. This is a little bit, a little bit greenish, but this looks absolutely perfect. Okay, and let's render this out. Composition we want to render this. Yes, uh, JPEG. Yes. Options quality is set to ten. This is perfect. And let's render this out to our Ferrari uh, folder. And let's click on save and let's click on render and stop this and let's jump here and delete all the other pictures and yeah also delete this one and this one and this one and this is our final shot so this is our car um, we are finished um, like I said there's still uh, some things that we could have changed but I still hope that you that you like this tutorial and that you learn something. Um, I hope you are really uh, happy to see more Octane tutorials in the near future. I probably will record two or three more this week, this this coming week. Um, what I will uh, render, I have no clue yet, but I will definitely find something on my um, on my hard disk or uh, what I could render out with Octane. So I hope this uh, this tutorial was a little bit useful for you and I hope you, you learned uh, a little something. And uh, yeah, um, 
if you enjoyed that, please follow me on VMO and, and also follow me on Facebook. I'm sometimes giving away free materials and models and some other stuff on my Facebook page. So if you're really interested, um, join me there as well. And uh, yeah, uh, I say thanks. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And uh, see you next time. Bye bye.